All right, Ron. So our next race up is going to be the uh, Burrell N thirty fives. Now this is a this is a race where you don't have to own the cart. You can just show up, rent the cart, and we give you everything you need. It's run just like you know any of the other classes. So you're a first class citizen here at NOLA. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hey, in this race, we've got a first. We have two ladies racing with us. We have, uh, How about that? Yeah, Amy Crosby and Akira Crosby. That's a mother-daughter team. Uh, we just saw Merrick Crosby out in the race. Uh, that was that was that was uh, son. Yeah, that was a son. Okay. And then Jace Crosby will be racing in our Rotax class. Right. So it's a foursome of Crosby. Definitely out here. a a family affair. The Ron, I'll give you a little tip. I was out watching earlier in practice. I was watching the N35s, and uh, you know Travis Bennett, who's starting third in this race, uh, normally wins by a good bit. Yeah, Travis but I'll is tell a good you driver. This, uh, Amy Crosby was giving him a run for his money. It took Travis a lot of work. I talked to him after the practice, and he said that that was all he had. Yeah. That he was driving as hard as he possibly could. So, uh, man, let's see. Is, is Travis going to fall today, and is it going to be to a girl? <laughs> oh. That would put a lot of heat on him. Yeah, absolutely. All right, in the fifth position, the number six of Akira Crosby. We'll be starting in the fifth position. The number nine of Amy Crosby will be in the fourth position. Travis Bennett in the number 12 will be in the third position. And outside pole in the number 11, James Bailey. And on the pole, the number three of Jeffrey Baker. That's how our N35s are going to line up today. Get ready to go. 12 laps, 12 laps in heat race number one for our N35s. The Ron, these carts are a lot like the L206s. You know, it's a lower horsepower cart, so it really emphasizes great driving. You know, these are on the same tires that we run on a lot of our classes. So the same tires that the uh, L206s run, the same tires the sportsmen run. So you're on a proper race tire, but again, with, uh, you know, with the way the cart is, a low horsepower, uh, you want to make sure that the cart stays free right. and that you use every bit of the road to really smooth out those turns. So, again, this is a great if you're you know, looking to get into karting, want to try out sprint racing. Uh, starting these, again, it emphasizes great driving. Uh, if you learn in the slow carts, as you step up to the faster ones, you'll definitely be far ahead of the rest of the field. Yeah, an excellent way to get started. Great entry level, and it's going to be interesting to see how the ladies make out in this race. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're right, though. I think Amy may have uh, have something for Travis you today. You know, I'm, I'm pulling for Amy today. You know, she's a great competitor. She's got a Rotex card as well. Does she really? So she's, oh, okay, she's all right. with speed also. So she's not, this isn't her first, uh, her first dance. No, not her okay. first rodeo for sure. All right. Green's out. We're off and racing. All right, so watch for Amy. She's in the, uh, the silver helmet with the blue accents. Uh, Currently, she's in fourth position. Let's see if she can improve that as the race goes on. You know, one thing I saw in uh, practice as well is Amy is not afraid to make a pass. <laughs> it was a couple times she uh, actually showed the guys something. I think sometimes, too. Uh, I, I see some of the strategies as maybe being let them get out there, let them work really hard. I'll stay back here, stay calm, cool, collected, and then kind of make my way up. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it seems to be the way to do it. Definitely can't win the race in turn one, but you can That's certainly right. lose it. Absolutely. As we've seen before. As we saw in that previous race with the bumper go flying. Also, mentioned in the front bumper, uh, at grid, the front bumper that was lost in the last race is available for pickup. Ravis. Ravis, your front bumper is available for pickup. Oh, Travis Bennett trying to make a move for second, but uh, he was denied. Uh, that allowed Amy to catch up, and boy, Amy is right on Travis's bumper. You know, so far, compared to the last time we were out here with the N35s, this is a much more competitive little group here. It seemed like we just had a couple of folks who were, yep. you know, the ones out in front, and today it looks like uh, all... Uh, all five of our competitors are very, very competitive and very close to one another. Yep. Oh, we're swapping positions All first and second. second. Oh, Travis is pouncing. Oh, Travis picks up second position. Oh, here comes Amy. Look at Amy. <laughs> Boy, they're mixing it up, huh? Bobbing and weaving. Yep. Jace, you need to get a front row seat. I'm standing down there. 
Now, Ron, I've got to say, looking at this back section here, Amy's got a much better line than the guys. Obviously, she's got a little practice in under her belt. It's showing. Did she get a little test and tune in? She did. She did. <laughs> oh, and the Travis is getting challenged for a second. Look, Mom's in the back telling her daughter, follow me. <laughs> follow me. The boys are going to mess up any moment. Ron, I've got to say I'm really impressed with this group. I and mean, look how close the racing is. I mean, you're one, two, three, four, and then Akira. This is our first time out in the N35s, and man, she's not she's far back She's still doing a great she's job. She's hanging in tough. Absolutely. Again, these are some really great racers. You know, Travis Bennett, the guy in second, has consistently won, and looks like he's making well, a move for first. I think he's got it. Let's see. Can he make it stick? It looks like he's going to bring somebody with him too. Whoop! Little slide job there. wasn't quite able to make the pass, but it looks like Travis has gotten back out in front. The number three right on him. Yep, so Jeffrey Baker in the third uh, number three cart just fell back to second. Travis Bennett takes another victim. <laughs> now, Ron, wouldn't you know, Amy Crosby set the fastest, ra uh, fastest lap of the race so far. Oh, and had a little a little contact back there by Amy. She's pushing hard for sure. That allowed Travis Bennett to slip away. I don't know if he could be caught, Ron. Yeah, that's tough. He gets out in front, and he can definitely. Yeah, rarely does he make a mistake, but he's looking backwards. Travis, look the other way, look forward. I do see the number nine. Looks like she's got the uh, the bit between the teeth and starting to move up. And look, James ba Bailey's falling all the way back to last place, uh, fifth position. A little slide back there in the uh, uh, at the end of the straight. Yeah, I didn't see exactly what happened there, but obviously uh, a little contact. Yep. Uh, Travis Bennett sets the fastest lap of the race, uh, 50.557. It looks like Amy still has second fastest of the race, though, 50.853. So, man, they're neck and neck. Wow. Amy's working Jeffrey Baker pretty hard. She's not letting him get away. Man, impressive driving by uh, Amy Crosby. Just watching her lines. I mean, she's hitting every single mark every time. Jeffrey Baker better watch out. I'm thinking the number three might be holding her up just a little bit. I think so, too. She may be able to get by and run down uh, Travis out there. Yep. How many laps we work in here? Oh, Ron had a little slide by Amy, very uncharacteristic. Usually she hits her marks every time. Looks like lost her a couple little positions, but uh, we'll see if she catches it back up. Wow, look at that. James Bailey, who's uh, now in last place, that's the fastest lap of the race. He's trying to catch up. He said a 49.691. Looks like there's a little uh, action in the back of the pack. Akira Crosby and James Bailey Not going at Not given it. any ground either, no. Akira said. <laughs> Take no prisoners. Still a good battle going on here for a second. The number three and the number nine. Ron, we're just over halfway, so there's still a lot of racing to go. Uh, 
Matt Busby, shout out to Matt Busby. Nice stickers on your card, man. I like that. Uh, says I break for. Oh crap! No breaks. Love it. <laughs> Are we gonna see Wreck It Ralph come out this time? <laughs> no comment. Jay says, "Oh, no breaks." <laughs> he knows all about that. Boy, Travis comes by and sets yet another fast lap of 50.345 in his N35. So that's his fastest lap so far of the race. Still looks like uh, James Bailey's been the only one to break the, uh, the 50 mark. Yeah, this next group that's getting ready to come out going to be uh, awfully competitive. Ron, this is going to be probably the race of the day so far. Oh, and Amy makes a move for second. Amy has Does made a move stick? up, trying to make it stick. I think she's got it. She even gave it a little uh, bit of that giddy up. Yep, that's right. You know, we talked last time. Does bouncing help? And yeah. in that case, I think it did. A little bunny hop. Look at this. Got us a young lady in the second position in cart number nine. Look at that. And she's Amy got a half Crosby second has, gap over third. Has gotten by. And still. James Bailey trying hard to get around Akira Crosby. And he makes it stick. Here he comes down the front straight. Now, Ron, the question is, oh, Amy doing the bunny hop again. <laughs> <laughs> Can she bunny, bunny hop her way to the finish and keep that second position? All right, here they are, white flag lap. Hold your breath. Ron, you know, once that white flag comes out, it kind of messes with some driver's head. They start to get a little nervous and yes, maybe make they a do. mistake. And, man, in these carts, you can't make any mistakes. It penalizes you big time. Number six is still trying to challenge the number 11. Now, Ron, you, we talked about Travis Bennett being king of the hill earlier. You know, now he, he is in first, but I'll tell you this. Amy Crosby has set a faster lap than he has with a 50.189 to Travis's 50.323. Uh-oh. So Amy Crosby, two-tenths faster than uh, the guy that's leading the point so far. Well, here comes Travis down to take the checkered flag in the number 12, followed closely by the number 9 of Amy Crosby in the number 3. Wow, and Amy bet betters her fastest lap with a 50.013. On their last lap. Over two-tenths faster than Travis Bennett's fast, fastest. Good thing she wasn't right on his tail. That's right. You know, I don't